Good morning, you guys. It's uh, Vlogmas day seven, and it's 15 after 10. Taylor and Noble have already left for his appointment, and they're already there. I think they've already taken off his cast. Field is in the living room watching Franklin. I don't know if you guys remember that, but when I was a little girl, it was one of my favorite cartoons to watch. It's really wholesome, too. Just made myself some oatmeal. So I'm gonna eat that. I've already had coffee. Taylor brought me coffee in bed this morning, so that was sweet. Ivy is down for her first nap of the day. So that's kind of what's going on. I still need to get ready for the day, but it's probably not gonna happen until Field goes down for a nap. Um, but we do have some errands to run today, and I do need to edit the video that goes up in the morning because I haven't done that yet. We usually do it like I was supposed to do last night, but we ended up watching Dan to Navi and just having some time together. So thankfully, because I filmed two days in advance, I can have like a day of like not editing. But that means I'll have to edit two videos tonight if I want to stay on top of that. But we'll see. I am currently in the bathroom getting ready and Ivy is over here on the floor playing. <laughs> um, but I wanted to show you guys some of my favorite makeup products that I have been loving and using for like a couple months. Um, but they are just great. I have most of my makeup on. I just have to do my eyelashes. Set you guys up right here. Okay. So these two mascaras are my absolute favorite. So this one I have been using for years, honestly. Maybe since I was in high school, I'm not sure. But I have always loved the L'Oreal Voluminous Original. I don't know if you guys remembered the freckled fox on Instagram when I used to be on Instagram. Back when I was really young, <laughs> I loved following her. And she used to have a YouTube channel. I don't know if she still does. Um, and she talked about this, and that's how I learned about this. And uh, so I've always used this. It's my favorite. But this is the primer that I've recently started using. And it goes on white. And it's so, like, it helps lengthen them. But it primes them so it gives it more body for your lash and then you put this on over once it starts but first i've been curling my lashes let me see if i can do this with you guys okay so now that those are curled then i go on with the primer see it's like literally white i don't know if i can do that right there Okay, I don't know if you guys can see, but my lashes have lengthened so much just because of this, but also they are white. So it does dry clear, is what I've noticed. So you kind of just let it dry. See, look at my lashes. Isn't that amazing? Um, and then once it dries, I put this on. The first time I put this on, my husband walked in right when I did it, and I was like, oh, my goodness, I'm going to get teased for this. Um, and he was like, what is on your lashes? And I was like, don't worry, you don't leave it like this. <laughs> He's like, oh, I was like, oh, is this a new trend? White eyelashes. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but no, I would never do that. <laughs> okay, look at that. Isn't that amazing? It looks so good. Okay, now you see the difference. It's literally so, uh, it lengthens so much. And if you want like the false lash look, but more of a natural look, this really helps. I don't really like false lashes, so I just like more obvious lashes because it makes your face look better. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair, get dressed, and then I should be ready for the day. Taylor and Noble should be back pretty soon. Um, he just called and said that he got the new cast. It's the same cast. I mean, they redid the cast because they had to fit his foot for the orthotic. Um, so they did that, and later this month is when he's gonna actually get the orthotic that they had fitted. So he just got a fresh cast on right now um, because they had to use his foot. So everything's going good. They said you could actually see the healing on the x-ray. You can see where it's healed already. So that is amazing. Praise God. So he's doing good, but everything went well. I had to show you Ivy's precious little outfit. This is that little sleeper I got from Walmart. It is so cute. And these socks actually fit her really well. Um, but I love it. It's adorable. And it's so soft. And the print is so cute. And the ruffles. Girl's clothes is so cute, Missy. Yes, it is. <laughs> well, you guys, we are heading out. Uh, Taylor and Noble are home. We all got ready. I'm dressed. Just in my typical <laughs> sweater and jeans and boots. Uh, I did curl my hair. And Ivy's in the car seat in there, so I'm getting ready to 
go get her in the car. Taylor's putting the boys in the car. We're gonna run to TJ Maxx, Dollar Tree. I'm probably just gonna go in really quickly um, so they don't see the stocking stuffers and such. So yeah, that's kind of the plan. And then we also need to pick up coffee beans. So maybe three, the lighting's bad. Maybe three different uh, spots. Oh, I also need to get ornament hooks to hang those gold ornaments I bought up. So, anyway, oh, <laughs> these are our uh, car insurance identification cards. We had to have these mailed to us because everything is through apps now and I don't have an app. So if I were to ever get pulled over by a police officer, I don't have my car insurance identification card. So we had to print them off. <laughs> so there's pros and cons of not having a uh, smartphone, but so far, the pros outweigh the cons, in my opinion. And this is just one little extra thing that I have to do, it's not a big deal. So, I gotta put these in our cars. Yeah. Okay, we better head out. tree and running errands I will show you everything that I got for everyone's stockings um, pretty soon we're just gonna have the sausage tortellini soup for dinner tonight as leftovers and I'm just gonna have a chill evening but I really need to edit my other video <laughs> and I'm running out of space on this SD card so this vlog may end short but gotta get her out of the car seat so okay I'm in our room I just brought up all this stuff that I bought also one of the boys, Tony's, came in the mail. So I'll show you that, but let me show you a couple things and then I'll like individually show you everything. So this is the wrapping paper that I picked out from TJ Maxx. They just put it in rubber bands, but I bought all this stuff individually. So I picked out these cute, adorable puppies to wrap the kids' presents in. And then I love a good plaid. So they had like this Martha Stewart, just traditional red plaid. And then I loved this one, the navy plaid. So I got two of those and then one red plaid and then two of the puppies. So that's what I bought at TJ Maxx along with, um, along with this set of bows and ribbon. And then I also found one of these head warmers. I've been wanting one of these so bad. So I just picked up this blue one. So something for my winter gear. <laughs> And then I also picked up two of these pack of five clothing boxes. It's the Martha Stewart brand, but they were like $3.99 each. So super cheap stuff. And then some tissue paper, some sticker tags, some tape. And then this is for Taylor's stocking. Um, and then I'll show you everything else from Dollar Tree and stuff. And I typically have made videos in the past of like good stocking stepper ideas. I do not have the time, <laughs> extra time to like film a separate video just for that. So this is just going to be a little fun gem for you guys to see what I'm going to put in their stockings, which it really isn't a big deal. Like everyone can put whatever they want in kids stockings. And this year I actually splurged a little bit on some fun candy and different things for them because they're getting older. So I think every year it's gonna be totally different, but I just here to say that this isn't gonna be in a separate video. What I'm getting for their stockings is all in this one video, as well as Taylor's. So he's gonna do mine another day, but um, I'll show you what I got. All right, so this stuff right here is all from the Dollar Tree. I'll individually show their stocking stuff together in just a second, but I got them each a yo-yo. And then I got them each a matchbox car. And then these cute little chocolate penguins. So that was at Dollar Tree that I picked up for them. And then Taylor is gonna get like these little face wipes, some chocolate. He loves more of like the snacky stuff from stockings. Sour Patch Kids, Reese's, some beef jerky. So that's from Dollar Tree. And then also I picked these two things up from Dollar Tree for me. Uh, now that I don't have a smartphone, I'm finding like the boring moments of either sitting in a car or just different places. This would be nice to like have in my purse, just something. And then this book was at the Dollar Tree. 
It's a hardback. It's A Hopeful Heart, Louisa May Alcott, Before Little Women. So I don't know if it's a biography on her life before she wrote Little Women, but I was like, this looks really interesting. So I decided to add that to my library of things to read. So that was from the Dollar Tree of what I got for their stockings. So let me show you their individual stocking um, stuff put together. All right, so here's what will be in field stocking for the most part. This is just one of those things from Trader Joe's, like a hot chocolate thing. Pick them up each a Schleich animal from our farm store. Some candy canes, chocolate, a Tony yo-yo, some Rolos. I may add a couple other things like snacks or something, but for the most part, I think they're done. This is the Tony that came in for Noble. This is the one from the Wild Kratz. Such a great show. Um, and then this is the one I picked up for Noble. And then all his little candy and and things and then Taylor I just added I'm probably gonna dump some of these in his and then put the rest in my stocking probably some Reese's some candy canes so so for the most part that's what is in their stockings I'm going to also add um, probably some Dr. Squatch uh, deodorant or soap or something for Taylor's stocking and uh, maybe something else we'll see for the most part that's what I got today all the stocking stuffers and goodies to kind of wrap up our Christmas shopping so, I think we're set. Well, we have already ended our night, finished dinner, did our family worship, our advent. So we forgot to put the ornament on the tree. <laughs> um, but the house is picked up. I just got done cleaning the espresso machine, so that's all ready for in the morning. And then the rest of the house is picked up. So it's ready to go for a busy week and I'm glad that I got all my errands done and uh, also I was going to show you guys that Christmas hymn book. This is what the Christmas um, carol book, Christmas hymns. It's by MacArthur or John MacArthur and a couple other people so, but we really like it. I'll link it because I found it on Amazon. I just bought it used on Amazon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 8. Bye!